might be wondering, Sasha, that's a different mug. Okay, oh God, I hate when people do that in books. Anyway, yes, this is a different mug than the B-roll from this morning. That's because it's six hours later. Pretty much I filmed that, I made that coffee, and then I went and had a melty breakdown. And now I'm just finally trying to do something productive with today. So this is a different coffee cup. Same sort of Christmas vibes, this little Bambi, which has got nothing to do with this particularly themed reading vlog that I want to introduce right now. But today I'm going to be reading some uh, Krampus Smut. <laughs> This was originally going to be a Christmas monster smart vlog because in Meredith's Discord people were like asking for like vlogmas video ideas and I put down monster smart and because I'm we all know I'm a hoe for monsters and then I believe it was Sam who said what about Christmas monster smart and then I was going through Christmas monster smart and I found a lot of Krampus stuff. So I'm still going to do a Christmassy Monster Smart vlog, but I thought today let's read some Krampus stories. So first of all, I've got Kissed by the Krampus by L. Eveland. This is actually a queer Krampus story. It's male male. We've got Chris Kringle, who's always hated Christmas. It's only gotten worse since he's been back from the war. Christmas is supposed to be jolly, but for him, it's a grim reminder of past failures. He needs to get away to be somewhere quiet to heal. So when he wakes up in the South Pole after an accident to a Krampus tending his wounds, it feels like the perfect opportunity to get some much needed R&R. &R. Yet this gentle giant is so achingly sweet, he can't help but fall for him, even though he's a monster. But another more sinister monster may be lurking much closer to home. And if we don't hunt it down in time, this could be the last Christmas ever. So Kiss by the Krampus is a holiday MM monster romance for adults featuring a cinnamon roll monster and a veteran grappling with his PTSD. So that is the first one. The next Krampus book I'll be reading in this vlog is Kidnapped by the Krampus and this is by Emily Shaw. So this is actually uh, one that a couple people have been reading this jolly season. I might as well get in with the hype. So the synopsis for this one is Tis the Season for Spice and a Little Krampus Magic. So we've got Twyla who is an investigative journalist sneaks into Krampus world to learn the truth about the eccentric CEO who always wears the monstrous holiday costume. She's definitely going to be making the naughty list for this. And then after sharing a drink with the mysterious and quiet CEO, the last thing she expects is waking up with no clothes in the most beautiful winter castle. This horned heartthrob billionaire kidnapped her. Despite the language barrier, she soon learns that his punishments are hot enough to melt the Nerf Pearl. And there are far worse things than being treated like a Christmas princess in a Yuletide themed castle. Very interesting. So from best-selling author Emily Shaw comes a romanticy that will give you all those hallmark feels with a sack full of spicy surprises. A Christmas kidnapping never felt so dark and enchanting, or so cozy. Get ready for a roller coaster sleigh ride that will have you believing in holiday miracles and a mischievous monster you'll be dying to get under the mistletoe. When I read the synopsis for that, I was like, I need to read this. I've seen this special edition going around the internet, and I think that looks really cute. I probably won't get it, but... And then last but not least, we have a book by one of my favorite monster romance authors, and that's C.M. Nascosha, or is it Nascosha? I'm very bad with names. I'm so sorry. But this is called There Arose Such a Clatter, Tales from the Naughty List. It's a short anthology of bite-sized scorching hot tales from Krampus's Naughty List, sure to keep you warm beneath the sheets all winter long. So this anthology features monster slash human relations of extremely sexual nature is only intended for adult audiences. Those are the three Krampus tales I'll be reading this vlog. Hopefully you'll stick around and we'll find out which one could be my favorite. Good morning. I read 33% of Kissing, Kissed by the Krampus last night. I'm really enjoying it. So basically you've got uh, Chris who he's a veteran and he's just not really 
I think he's got, yeah, definitely like PTSD. I think that's what he said. Basically, he doesn't have a job. He just games with his other veteran buddies. He visits his, his grandma. But then he just had like a really bad argument with his two friends. And so while he was driving home in a really bad snowstorm, pretty much he has a car accident. And then he wakes up and the Krampus has saved him. <laughs> it's definitely unrealistic. But that's okay, like, it's the fucking Krampus. I was reading the author's note and she said something that like inspired about SG-1, like Stargate SG-1. And reading like the Krampus, it's not, like he's not the Krampus, he is a Krampus. So there's like a whole race of Krampuses out there. And that reminded me of the Unus from SG-1, how like there's not just one, there's a whole race of them and they kind of stick themselves because they're very territorial. They don't look alike in any way, but I thought that was a fun little Easter egg. Chris has named the Krampus Ollie and Ollie like is kind of fascinated by humans. He's got all these little knickknacks in his little home and we had our first sexual encounter I, I liked because uh chris was drunk but i liked how ollie was like uh we're gonna wait until you're sober before we actually do anything because i don't want you to regret it and I, i'm i love that that's my update for now i am at home with all three kids today i've just told them to go outside and find some potion making supplies and because atlas still has hand foot and mouth disease we can't really go to a park or anything which sucks so i might make some play-doh later some runny green play-doh for christmas but yeah, that's my update for now. I'm excited to see where the rest of this book goes. Hello. <clears throat> it's Thursday night. Did I? I don't think I vlogged today. Anyway, I'm now 54% of the way into Kissed by the Krampus just had our first not our first scene but the Krampus has a has a pocket old mate Chris was putting things into it oh my god I'm liking the storyline like the Krampus is um well Ollie his like purpose in life is to kill these creatures that are like taking over people in real life sort of thing but yeah i'm currently on sprints at the moment with amy and erin because everyone was a bit, was like going to sleep at home i'm like i want to hang out with my friends so that's what i'm doing and yeah we had lots of fun and i've got a like evolution time happening i thought it was quite cute um hopefully i'll finish this book tonight if i do two more sprints i think i might just depending because it is 10 p.m currently I just wanted to like update my little like excitement about that, about the, the pocket. Hello, this is me from the future, um, realizing that I forgot to update when I finished Kiss by the Krampus and forgot to tell you my thoughts about it. So pretty much, I think I'm giving it like four and a half stars. I did really enjoy it. I loved the relationship between Ollie and Chris. And I loved the storyline. And I'm definitely going to continue on with the series. Because the way it ended, basically there's a lot more monsters on Earth than we originally thought. So... Each book in the series is MM and it focuses on like a monster and a human. And so the next book is focusing on uh, someone we met in Kiss by the Krampus. And yeah, one of the monsters who we don't actually know anything about. But I'm very excited to continue on. I think Amy might read it with me, possibly. I hope so. I really did enjoy both the smut and the plot to this book. I just had a really fun time and just, I mean, we can't just not disregard the cock pocket. It was probably the best thing about this book. Let's get back to the rest of this video, shall we? Hi. I don't know how loud this is gonna be, but Kayla and I are guzzies. I got my burrito. I just finished work. I got new nails, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. 
I got Christmassy nails. I did it myself. Thanks, Kmart. Um, but we're about to go to the movies. But I thought while we're eating Guzzy, I will read my embarrassing book prompt for the Bookamon, um, which is Tales from the Naughty List. And I read some of it at work in front of my work friend. Um, and so if I read the rest now, then I will get my bag, which is very exciting. But we're gonna go see the Marvels soon. Um, we haven't been to the movies in ages. When was the last time we the movies? Years. Years, I think, was it Batman? Maybe. Yeah, so Batman, when Atlas was born. So almost two years ago. That can't be right. Anyway, we'll update you now and um, I will see you later. Hello. It's after the movie now. I'm trying to figure out because I thought I had, we'd had been to the movies this year and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I vlogged it. So I went back to the vlog um, and it was in may i think we saw dungeons and dragons because i wore the same skirt to that movie as i did tonight <laughs> but it was really good i really enjoyed it probably one of my favorite marvel movies i just love women and women supporting women and just boss bitches I'm really sad i picked the tales from the naughty list for this prompt because i want to keep reading it even though i'm at home and like, I could use it because I'll be reading in front of Kale, but I read in front of him all the time. So I'll just read it next time I'm in public. I don't know when that is going to be. So while I wait to be in public again, hopefully soon because I want to finish this vlog soon, I'm going to read Kidnapped by the Krampus tonight. Um, I can't remember what it's about. I don't really have anything else to update you on. I'm sorry. I really do like my nails though, but it's just like trying to get back into the rhythm of having nails again. It's just very hard. Like I forgot, like I can't unbuckle seat belts with nails. So that's fun, but hey, I look cute. So I am DNFing. <laughs> DNFing Kidnapped by the Krampus by Emily Shaw. Because I think not even the third chapter in, 12% in, we got a rape scene. Look, there were no trigger warnings. The author's note at the start of the book is like, this is a dark but cozy romanticy. Date rape slash roofie slash whatever you want to call it does not scream that to me. So DNFing that. And then I like looked on the author's website, there's nothing about the book on there. I had to scroll through some Goodreads reviews to actually get somebody talking about it. So yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. Like it's 2023, trigger warnings for your dark monster smut. It's, it's a given. It should be anyway. So I'm going to continue reading There Was Such a Clutter or Tales from the I don't know. The Sam has got a book. Don't know who, when. Maybe I'm just going to have to um, shelf this video for now until I go out in public again. I'm kind of disappointed because I wanted to like it. I'm going to go to bed now. Bye. Good morning. Uh, currently doing sprints with Jan um, on her Patreon, like with all of the other Carmillas, and it's really fun just chatting with them. And I was telling them how I DNF'd a Krampus smart last night, and Jan was saying that Kitty from Spicy Cats just read Railed by the Krampus. So I am going to start this now. Replace Kidnapped with Railed. <laughs> um, I actually have no idea what it's about, but do we really need to know anything about Krampus smart? Deck the halls with mirth and mischief. When I said I'd sell my soul for a lump of coal on Christmas Eve, I wasn't serious. Not really. But the strange shadow that has always lived behind my mirrors doesn't get the joke. Now I'm at the mercy of Klaus's bargain until I can bring him 12 increasingly ridiculous gifts. Why am I still in birds? But the creature what lurks in his domain must want something more. Something infinitely more delicious. Okay, I'm going to go check the content warnings and start reading. His cum tastes like eggnog. I'm having a fun time. Let me tell you that. So, 
at the park right now and I'm still reading that A Rose Such a Clatter, Tales from the Naughty List by Sam Nascotta. I think I'm about 65% of the way through. 75% my bad. And so it's like short stories, but I'm not quite sure if they're all the same, like about the same Krampus. We've had two stories where we definitely know it was the same Krampus, but the other three, I'm not too sure. I wonder how many stories I have left. I've got this story, I'm in the middle of the story, and then I've got one more, and then a Krampus will return. But I'm really enjoying it. I haven't read more of Railed by the Krampus, but I'm hoping if I finish this now before we go home, and then I finish Railed tonight, then I'll be on track, I think, for vlogs at least. But I'm having a roundabout great time with my Krampus stories. I'm glad I did this idea because I'm just having a grand old time. Hello, me again. Realizing I forgot to update you about Tales from the Naughty List. Uh, I'm giving this one, I think, probably three and a half to four stars. The smart was top tier, but I'm not a big, like, short story girly. So I was quite confused. There was like three stories that was all based on about the one Krampus. And there was two others that I'm like, are these the same Krampus? When does this fit in the timeline? Uh, but the, yeah, the smutty scenes were pretty good. I did enjoy them. There was one <laughs> where she likes being punished, right? And so the Krampus, Krampus realizes that. So he puts, um like a is it a clove of ginger in her butthole and starts spanking her with his birch branch or whatever it is <laughs> and um so she if she tensed up in anticipation the ginger's juices would like extract but then if she didn't tense up like she would get the full throttle and it was just oh, i don't know i was here like is this a new thing Anyway, uh, but I really did enjoy this, and I um, had a really fun time reading it. Um, yeah. All right, back to normal viewing. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. I have 80% to go of Railed by the Krampus, and this is actually such a good book. I thought I was going to go in for, like, a fun time, sort of like, um, like Tales from the Naughty List. There's just something about this book. So, basically... You've got Holly, who is the main caregiver to her twin sisters. They're like five, I think, or eight, because her mother died from like postnatal depression, and then her father then took his life after mother did. So she's pretty much just trying to feed herself, her sisters, and her nan, and there's not a lot happening there. Anyway, she's always been able to like notice something is like watching her in mirrors and stuff and on christmas eve she like says makes a swish or something saying like i would do anything for some coal i think just before she goes to bed like a box of coal shows up and um class shows up and uh, they make this deal i have to do errands for him um for the next 12 days and if she does them all then she'll be free of the bargain. First day, the errand is need a partridge in a pear tree. Then the second day, it's the turtle doves and so on and so forth. Kind of like the song. Every night when she goes to deliver these birds, Krampus is there to take delivery. And they um, have some banter, turns into sexy time sort of thing. She kind of sees Klaus sometimes as well, like outside. I have this inkling that but I prefer Krampus so much more than Klaus. I don't know why. He's just given me, he's given me Resan vibes. The other two books, like Krampus was just like this character sort of thing, but Krampus in this one, I'm like slowly falling for him. And it's not just her dealings with Krampus and Klaus, you also see her dealings with her sisters and her nan and her best friend Susan. And I just, there's, I can see character growth and 
I don't know. I did not expect to love this book as much as I am. And I'm very glad that I picked this up for this vlog. So I've got about 15 minutes till I start sprints for the day. So I'm going to try and read more of this while I wait. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a fun time. So I just finished Railed by the Krampers and I'm giving it five stars. Just, I just really enjoyed it. I mean, the ending was a bit like, ee. I don't want to spoil it. Anyway, I really want more people to read this. And we did find out that it does have three different shades of red. So if you are participating in Bookamon next year, this will work as one of the books for the steak prompt. So that it is it for my Krampus vlog. I read Kissed by the Krampus, There Arose Such a Clatter, Tales from the Naughty List, and Railed by the Krampus, and I DNF'd Kidnapped by the Krampus. So thank you so much for watching. I am doing 12 Days of Bookmas, so you will see me again with another video tomorrow. But until then, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye!